very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on tonight's show, especially as we are joined by such a special guest. Yes, we are joined by the incredible TJ Jackson and we'll be catching up with him after this. TJ, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here in London. Yes. How are you finding it here? I'm great. I love it here. I've been coming here for many years now, and it's always special. It's always, it's always a wonderful place. What's your favorite thing about London? Oh, um, wow. There's a lot. There's so many cool monuments. And yes. Historical. Have you done all the tourist things? I always do the tourist things. Me now. too, and I live here. When I was young, <laughs> I never did that. You know, I was, uh, I, I didn't appreciate it. But now that I'm older, I, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. Very much. I know. It's wonderful, isn't it? And I know you've been really busy. I've been mm. following your Instagram. I've seen you've been in Paris. Yeah. Madrid on a scooter. Yeah. Yeah. Living your best life. I, you only get one, <laughs> so you might as well go for it. Right. And, and I've been going privileged and lucky enough to go from so many different countries yeah. to other countries. So I try to really enjoy it, live in the moment, yes. and and really uh, make memories. Yeah, absolutely. I've learned to do that, and uh, that's now my thing to do. So I, yeah. I go out and I see the the cities and, and really have a good time. Yeah, I think I have actually as I've got older because when you're a bit young, you take it for granted you and as you get older, you're like, you actually, do. you've got to live in the moment yeah. and appreciate every single thing, haven't you? 100%, 100%. Yeah. And when I, I traveled so much as a youngster that, you know, it, I don't know, I didn't I didn't respect what I was seeing in the yeah. history and culture like, like I should have. So yeah. now I, I don't make that mistake. I, 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 I enjoy like it. it. I like it. Well, we are going to go into the first song on the show anything yes. which this brings back memories for me <laughs> because i can actually remember we have a store in england called our price we used to okay and i used to go in and listen with my headphones oh, on that's so cool and i can actually remember listening to anything and it yeah. given me goosebumps straight away that's amazing i appreciate you sharing that because when we wrote and performed and sang the song it was so like we were just kids, yeah. just trying to make our family proud. So Aww. to know it, it, it did what it did around the world is, is a beautiful thing. Is it your dad's favorite song? It is. Yeah. It is. I oh. found that out just a couple of weeks ago, but Aww. anything is his favorite song of 3T. Oh, we love that. Yeah. Well, we're going to play it out on the show uh, right now. It sold over 2 million copies worldwide. Enjoy. I'll be catching up with TJ on the upside. I'll give you love. No, I want to talk about your new song, yes. TJ. I yes. had a little listen earlier on the train, <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm living for this. It's called Heaven on My Lips. Yes. Talk us through this. Heaven on My Lips, my first single off my next project. Very uh, live instrument bass. A lot of live musicians played on it. Drums, keyboard, guitar, bass, horns. It's, it's, it's a throwback song, and I'm leaning into that. That's yeah. what I grew up in. Uh, listening to and that's what I'm interested in doing. That's where, where my my passion is leading me to to that retro sound. So that's what it is. It's it's that old school R and B. You know, I am that old school R and B person. I I feel like I am in a time machine back in the nineties because everything I listen to, if I'm driving, if I'm walking down Oxford Street, it's all that kind of vibe. It's a cool. It makes me feel good. It's, it's a, a feel good factor. It's a great sound. Some talented musicians were out then. Um, and, it, and it holds, it holds very well. So that's still what I like to do is that old school oh, R&B yeah. sound. And even though, it may, that, yeah. even though it may not be the most trendy or the popular no, no, sound, no. It's, for me, it's, it's, what, it's what I love to do. Yeah. So I'll keep doing it. Uh, we want you to keep doing <laughs> it. Well, uh, you can uh, download this on all streaming platforms, all streaming, right? Yes. So that's we're gonna correct. put details on the screen below. Uh, and we're gonna give you a little sneak peek right now.
asked a question from one of our lovely viewers, Lisa. She says, aside from music, what are your passions? Because Ooh. am I right that you do real estate as well? I do. Wow. I bought my How do you fit it all in? Yeah, well, <laughs> first of all, I bought my first home at 18 years old. Gosh. And I was just signing. You know, this is before you could just tap. And, but I was signing paper <laughs> after days. paper after <laughs> what paper. What am I signing for? <laughs> exactly. I, I didn't know what I was signing. I remember thinking to myself, this will be the last time I'm signing Aww. papers for a home and I don't know what I'm doing. So I got my license within a couple of years just to have. And then um, I started doing, you know, helping my friends and family members with some deals. And I ended up loving it. You know, I'm, I'm a very creative person. I love to create, but I also love math and, and business and oh, so, so and real estate. So on the side, I do some stuff, but I have a company and I have okay. wonderful people who work. It's all about your team around you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So they, they do the nine to five, and I yeah. just get to sneak in and, and do some stuff to, to, you know, it's a hobby of mine, and it's something oh. I'm passionate about. But the, my music is my priority, so yes. that's where I, where I focus most of my energy. But, you know, some people play video games or go golf mm. or, or play sports. Um, for me right now, it's, it's a lot of the business and real estate. That's good, because also I think it's good to have both, like music yeah, and business, for, you yeah. know, for people watching that are aspiring to yeah. come into the industry. Absolutely. It's, it's good. I wish I'd done that. Especially in today's <laughs> time, you could do so yeah. much. So so Actually, anyone out say. there, go for it. Yes. Be you. Good advice. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, we are going to go in to uh, the next song, uh, Stuck On You. Am I right yeah. in saying this is your grandmother's favourite? It, it is. Yeah. It is. I didn't know that until about five years ago. Um, oh. Out of the blue, I don't know if it was playing somewhere, but she had a big smile when she heard it Aww. and I said Grammy you like this song and she goes it's my favorite one you Did guys she? have done oh, yeah lovely. so the, it, it's now really special for me when I hear it because yeah. I think about my grandmother oh well I'll enjoy this I'm gonna be catching up with TJ on the other side Stuck on you. now I want to rewind how 3T came together because mm -hmm. I mean, some groups are kind of manufactured together, but it's so nice yeah. when it's your family, right? Yeah. It means a lot. You know, they're my brothers. I'm the youngest of the three. What's it like being the youngest? It's all I know, but... Uh, I'm the youngest. Are you the youngest? Yeah. It's cool. You know, I think I got... Get away my, with a lot, don't you? I got away with more than my brothers did. <laughs> I think my parents were a little bit more tired by the time, you know, I, I they had to deal with me. But it's cool. I learned so much from my brothers and my best friends. And um, like you said... I'm just blessed that my brothers are my bandmates and, and yeah. not just random people, you know, and um, it's something that's that's wonderful because although we're not doing music right now, yeah. we will always be 3T and there will always be great possibility of more music coming soon. I was going to ask that question, actually. Yeah. Can we have you guys back? I hope. I hope it's coming soon. I think it's coming soon. So it's it feels like it's going to happen soon. So maybe in a year or two, we'll have Which another like, 3T album. Do another interview. we get the three of you yeah, on. Yeah, for sure. And do you guys get on the whole time? Because me and my brother, we fall out the whole time. I mean, <laughs> we, we're brothers, you know, like every siblings. You know, we have our ups and downs, but when it comes down to it, the love for each other yeah. is will always be always. first, and we. I think most many people know, but you know, my mother was murdered when I was 16, so my brothers were, you know, were everything to me. Not only were they my brothers and best friends, but they're like, you know, part of me. Yeah. So we we have a, an extra special bond that I think um, that is really special, and and I, I love them and and I miss them, and Aww. and I'll be seeing them soon. And you guys were incredibly hard i don't think people realize just how hard that you have to work people oh, see the yeah. glamorous things but yeah. how hard were you guys working we had to work very hard Go. very hard i remember since i was seven years old rehearsing every single day after school Go. um and and i'm happy it was like that because a it instilled a work ethic but mm. you know we were following some legendary artists and right? my <laughs> father and uncles um so we my father I think I, I'm very proud of what he did because he, I think he prepared us well for, for our career. Yeah. We didn't come in, you know, thinking it was going to be easy. We, we he stole that inside you. Yeah, yeah, we respected what it took to become what we wanted to become. So uh, I have no regrets and no complaints and I'm, and I'm happy he was honest the way he was. I mean, you guys had so much incredible success. Did mm. you envisage that or 
you know, like how, how much success did you think he'd have coming from your background? When we were young, we always dreamed about being like our family. So even though we were doing such amazing numbers and, and sold out shows around Europe, um, we always felt like we had a long way to go. You know, when you're comparing yourself to Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson and, and our family, you don't really understand if you're successful or not. Yeah. You know, you just feel like you're getting there. And that's, that's truly how we felt. We've always felt like we were getting there. Wow. We never felt like we arrived. But looking back, we, we, we did some amazing things. You know, right. we broke records and, and made our own name for ourselves. So it was a beautiful journey and, and it's still gonna continue. Absolutely, watch this face. And we're gonna go into I Need You. Uh, is it right that you got the demo to this song and you kind of passed it? I did, and... yeah, my brothers and I, we did not care what? about this song, I know. Because my... for me, as soon as I heard it, I'm like... But. To our defense, the demo wasn't like what you hear. Oh, the, okay. Oh, it, it got a lot better. Max Martin, who's a legendary writer, he made that song, him and Dennis Pop, they made this song completely different than what the demo was. But I have to credit my Uncle Michael. He heard through the demo and said, this would be a big song for you. Wow. So. Wow, well, here it is. Uh, one of my favorites of all time. I've got to say, in lockdown, weirdly, I got this song back out because it was a time when I was feeling a bit low and music is like therapy, isn't yeah, it? I wonder so I brought out all the songs that made me feel really good again and this was on my list. Oh, it's so, beautiful. Thank um, you enjoy me. this. Uh, I know we are going to hear on the show. Now we have another question uh, from Kate who says, what was it like when you performed on the big reunion? Oh. Because I had to stay in and watch that show every yeah. night. It was brilliant when you all came together. It was a lot of fun. You know, I, I didn't know many of the bands at the time, but now, even today, they're like brothers. You Aww. know, they, they, they came, a couple of them came to my show. Oh, and nice. um, it, it was a really cool experience, you know, and it was completely different than something we've done in the past. Was it quite nerve-wracking? No. It, was, it, it just felt right? It felt really, it felt really good. You know, we, we got to see and, and go to places in England we never went to. Like and, where? Where did you go? Um, Brighton. Oh, I like and, Brighton. Uh, Stony Beach. Yeah. Not quite LA. It, <laughs> it was cool, but there's, there's a couple more that I think, can't think of. I think maybe Sheffield. Right, okay. Um, we went to Manchester, but was I've it been raining? there before. I don't remember. Oh. But what I do remember is just having a really good time with uh, all those great artists. And, we, you know, we got to just have a good time and just reminisce and talk about how, how grateful we are to be able to perform at, you know, at this point of our lives and, yeah. and bring so much joy to so many people. I mean, it was 90s heaven for people like myself yeah. because it was just wonderful. <laughs> but I think things have changed such a lot, haven't they? These days you've got your social media and, and, and artists coming into the industry now. It's so yeah. different, isn't it, from it the is. 90s, right? It is. It is. But... I think there's pros to both sides. You know, there was something yeah. special about back then with CDs and, and going to oh, the record store to I buy. I was so excited to save right? money up. Right. Do the washing up for like to buy a CD. It's very true. <laughs> but there's also something special about today's time. You can really connect with, in my case, I can connect with my fans yeah. and really know what they're like and what they don't like. And, and it's, it's interesting, but I, I, I'm loving both sides of it. And I feel so lucky that I got to do both ways. Yeah. You know, so I'm leaning into today's way of doing it and doing lives and connecting with my fans and DMing. And, and I like it. It's like really you said, cool. I think it's gratitude for what you have right now, isn't it? You've got to think, well, what am I thankful for right now? And like yes. you say, social media, it can, obviously, there is little bits Correct. that's Correct. negative, but overall, yeah. it can be a real positive. If, you, if you focus on the positive and, and, and lean into that, then it can be. Yeah. You know, you do have to take your breaks, but I have an amazing community that has continued to grow and one that continues to inspire me. So for me, the social media aspect has been wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's a positive, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I've been reading some stuff about you, TJ, about uh, vision boards and that yeah. your, your first uh, book that you read with Tony Robbins. Yeah. And I think that's a real important side of the mental health side that I try and get across as well. 100%. You know, great to be on social media all day, but it's also important to work on your mindset. Please, you have to be thankful. You have to be, you know, grateful person. You also have to take your breaks. If you, yeah. you know, you have to make sure you, you relax and you breathe and you understand not everything's going to go great. Right. But sometimes, you know, obstacles are actually blessings. Yeah. You know, if you can look at it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and a lot of pressure on the social media. So oh, for anyone out there that's feeling it, let it go. 
you know, be you and, and, yeah. and, and you'll find your right spot in this yeah. world. I'm feeling inspired here on the show. We're going to go into uh, Insomnia, Insomnia, which was like your first single by yourself, yes. right? Yes, yes. I'm liking the vibe to this. Yes, it, it's... It is my first release, and it's a special song for me because it was the song that, once I released it, I felt like, okay, this is what I do want to do going yeah. forward. Yeah, about right. You know, it was it was a very interesting time for me because I didn't know if I wanted to be a solo artist. It's going to be quite hard, right, going out it by is. yourself, a bit daunting. Yeah, because I, I I spent my whole life with my brothers. Yeah. You know, I I, that's all I know. I'm the youngest, and I I always had two older brothers to sing with me. Um, but when I released Insomnia, it just felt right, and the, and the reception was really strong, and yeah. um, I, I, I'm very happy I did it. Yeah, but I know you've got a busy <laughs> evening ahead yes. of you. Uh, but we want to remind everyone to download your new single, don't we? Yes, Heaven on My Lips. It's out everywhere, iTunes, Amazon, Google, yeah. all that stuff. All major streaming platforms. So uh, again, we will put details on the screen below of how you can do that. Also, I know you are off to Brussels and I Amsterdam. Am. I am. I have two more shows on my tour. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do afterwards? I'm going to go home, I'm going to relax, <laughs> gonna chill. I'm going to chill, I'm going to read, uh, I may go on a mini vacation. You deserve it, uh, just to do nothing. I, I have to decompress yeah. and, and just slow things down, because it's, yeah. been, it's been a lot. But of course, because it's lovely to travel, but then it's nice to have that downtime, reset exactly. and come back. Exactly, exactly. Oh. But I, I'm 
no regrets. I loved everything. I, I am so happy and I feel so blessed to have met and see all my fans around Europe. And um, I look forward to doing it again. I yeah, really do. We want you to do it again. I will. So keep us posted. I will. This has been such an honor and a dream of mine because I'm a big 3T fan. Oh, cool. Like I said, those songs mean a lot to me and I still play them a lot now as I'm walking around London and you know, chilling out. So, Thank you. but to do this today has been Thank such you so much. a wonderful time. And you, you are so great. Oh, I'll give you that you, fiber later. Uh, I'm serious. <laughs> you knew a lot more than most do about me. So, oh, I see my research, TJ. Okay. You got, you got it, haven't you? <laughs> no, really. Oh, well, thank you so much. It's the incredible TJ Jackson. Thank you. Huge thank you, TJ Jackson, what a guest. And thank you to you at home uh, for supporting the show. It really is much appreciated. Now, we will see you same time, same place next week. Gonna leave you with another classic uh, from TJ and we'll see you there. I think I found out your secret, baby. I think you knew the whole time. And I just can't resist when you say, wanna be mine tonight You got me feeling torture, baby You are such a damn tease Are you playing games with me or are you just that naive? Do you understand what you do to me? You do this every time If you're not right now Baby, I can't stand it